Well, hi guys, just going to make a quick Photoshop tutorial today. A lesson I learnt recently about correcting photographs. <coughs> As you excuse my voice, I've had a bit of a cough and a cold recently, which is uh, getting better, so no worries there. Anyway, this is a picture of Biffy Clyro I took at the Isle of Wight Festival. The actual original image looked like this. And you can see it's majorly overexposed because of the... Um, it was at night for a start and uh, the stage was very bright so we're using quite a slow um, shutter speed for the camera and the image became overexposed and I'll show you how to adjust the levels so you can get a reasonably good picture from it that's uh, got nice colour levels and is well saturated too so anyway let's begin the tutorial let's turn that one off <coughs> Now several ways you can do this to correctly expose the picture but one of the best ways to do this is by using levels and you can use this from the image adjustments levels which is a perfectly ok way to do it or you can use an adjustment layer which is the way I do it the correction the way I prefer to do it ok now what you can see is the levels show you areas of the photograph where you have pixels in that area and also areas where you have no pixels now areas where you have no pixels are areas that are basically white instead of being color or saturated so we can adjust for those not only on generally on the picture but also on each color channel so let's go ahead and uh, adjust the RGB channel and what you do is you just drag the slider across where there's no pixels until you just start just where the pixels start to come in and that's corrected the image on that channel now you can re-brighten the image by correcting the um, highlight spot or you can correct the mid-tones by dragging those up and down I'm not going to worry about it too much at this stage because we still have other channels to correct first so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as it is let's have a look at the red channel red channel so you can see we've got hardly any pixels in from the mid-tones all the way down to the shadows so let's drag that up and correct that now because we're in the red channel it's uh, saturated the cyan and the way to correct for that is take the mid-tones and reduce the cyan which brings it back into the red range again ok that's good and we'll do the same for the green channel opposite of green is magenta obviously so we'll just correct for the magenta see that's starting to look quite realistic now if you want to have an effect you can leave the agenda quite saturated I like to correct it so it looks like quite realistic ok you don't have to worry about it being perfect because you can correct things like brightness, shadows and highlights later on so what we're trying to do is we're just trying to correctly expose the picture and again on the blue channel the opposite of blue is yellow so when we turn down the blues we're turning up the yellow so we can correct for that turning back down the yellows now it's looking pretty good actually slightly underexposing it because I like the, um, the dark kind of shadow and highlight effect so about there so in just one move just by adjusting our levels we've already made that look considerably better as the before and that's the after and the other thing we can do while we're still in the levels adjustment is there you go, just call up the levels window again that's the good thing about using an adjustment layer is it's non-destructive on the image that you're working on so you can always delete a layer delete a levels layer and uh, the background remains untouched anyway the other thing we can do is we can set our black and our white points 
with these little eyedropper tools here on the levels adjustment window setting our black point is we choose the darkest point on the image and that will set it to our black point and then we do the same thing with our white point we find a specular highlight which is the most white point or the brightest point in the image we choose that and that sets our contrast and you can also set the grey point but you have to be very careful with setting the grey point because it can uh, because there's such a broad spectrum of greys, if you chose this grey, it would have a completely different effect. And if you chose the grey in his trousers, for example, let me show you. So you're choosing that grey, that's kind of uh, messed up our image completely. And choosing that one, well, that's a better grey. So uh, we'll keep it at that for now. But anyway, if you make a mistake on the adjustment level, you can just use Control or Z to undo it, of course make things look a lot better than they were so anyway that's the um, after and you can see it's made a profound difference to the image and corrected for the exposure and also the colors as well look much better and uh, that's the before and that's the after and that's my little tutorial thanks very much for watching obviously there's other things you can do to the picture as well you can sharpen it you can uh, brighten the um, shadows, turn down the highlights. If you f if you want uh, Biffy to be stand out, you can sharpen him, and then you can like apply blur to the background. And uh, yeah, there's lots of work I could do on this image to make it look really great. But um, that's my quick tutorial and uh, experiment and play with yourselves. But levels adjustment is a great way to correct over or underexposed pictures. Have a great day. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks guys. If you want more photography tips and Photoshop tutorials, check out my InnerVision Photography blog and you'll find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.